Well, you've seen the war on farmers in the Netherlands, but now our esteemed globalist technocrats are pulling the same stunt in Germany. Farmers in Germany's most popular state, North Rhine-Westphalia, have been ordered to rein in the use of fertilizer. Green bureaucrats have told them to use 20% less nitrate fertilizer in areas deemed to have problematic levels of the chemical. The demand is all part of the plan to make the industry more green. An inconvenient knock-on effect is that it will severely impact the amount of food they're allowed to grow. A wheat field requiring 200 kilograms of fertilizer will now have to use 40 kilograms less, meaning a drop in both the quantity and the quality of the wheat harvested. Technocrats in the region passed the rule right before Christmas and then they all promptly buggered off on holiday, meaning no one can even challenge the mandate until next year. The rules appear to be unpopular with some local farmers and political officials. Eric Gusson, vice president of the Rhinish Agricultural Association, warned that the new regulations would mean a lower quality of crop hinting farmers would not accept the rules without a fight. There is great indignation among the farmers, which really upsets us, he told German news outlet Bild. The move is similar to what's already unfolding in the Netherlands, where the government is enforcing compulsory purchases of thousands of farms that don't meet environmental regulations. Those farms will then all be shut down. In a country which is second in terms of world exports of food, the measures have produced widespread sustained civil unrest. We can't allow farmers to farm. Are you mad? Letting the agriculture industry produce food? Can't have that. How are we going to control people and make them all dependent on us if we allow that to happen? I mean, it's for the planet, right? So I guess both the Dutch and now Germans will just have to eat the bugs. If only to save money, thanks to soaring inflation in Germany, which just hit a record high. One quarter of Germans can't even afford to buy Christmas presents for their kids this year. What's on the menu for Christmas dinner? Turkey, perhaps? A bit expensive, but don't worry. There are reasons to put insects on the Christmas menu. Mmm, lovely. What's for dessert? Edible mealworm in banoffee pie. I've suddenly lost my appetite. This video is sponsored by Kamikoto Japanese Steel Knives. Look at that beauty. Used by Michelin star chefs around the world, the knives are made with super high quality Japanese steel, using traditional techniques that date back over 800 years. This is the crappy knife I was using before, and this is the Kamikoto Japanese Steel Knife. Look at that, like a hot knife through butter. Faced with the Kamikoto, that carrot didn't stand a chance. That single bevel edge means Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge. You just can't get with other knives. Kamakoto is truly the edgelord of the knife world. Wouldn't want to mess with that, would you? Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives come in this lavish, heavy-duty ash wood box, so they make a great gift too. Each Kamakoto knife goes through a rigorous 19-step process, and you can tell just by looking at them that they're top, top quality. Go to kamikoto.com slash anything goes, and save up to 85% with free shipping as part of the early Black Friday sale. And get this, if you use discount code anything goes, they'll give you an extra $50 discount on any purchase. That's massive. The best way you can support me is by supporting my sponsors.